What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. We're on Mr. Joe's truck, so let's take a look, see what he's got. Hey guys, how you doing today? I hope you had a good weekend like always. Um, I know I did. Uh, just so you don't know, Cornwell Mondays, I'm wearing a Cornwell shirt. So, <laughs> Um, other than that, uh, we're going to talk about tools real quick, then we'll get into some Gavin, you know, one of those things. One thing he's got is a stepped pickle fork set, made by Lyle. Now what I mean by stepped is three different uh, sizes, or ball joints and that, it's stepped for going up. Gets in. Some people like those better than they like the, the smooth angled ones. Hmm. Um, they're $86. It comes with the attachment so you can use it with your air hammer. Tell it's Monday. You got your attachment to use with your air hammer. These screw on so you got your different sizes. You also get the uh, one that screws on. You can just use it with the regular hammer wow. when when you just got regular. You just got beat it. Like that song says, sometimes you just got beat it. So beat oh, it. Just beat it. I told you the price on these, like eighty-six bucks. Okay. Uh, carries full lifetime warranty. One of the other things we got. Is a lock a socket tray. Now, you got two rolls of half, you got two rolls of three eighths, you can play some game with that, checkers, one roll of quarters. Uh -huh. Now, how a twist -a lock works, I'll show it this way, it's got the little ball detent. Right now, I got a socket, uh, a half to three eighths adapter, corn roll adapter. AP uh, 32A or B. All you do is put it, put it on, spin it 90 degrees, and it will stay on there. It will stay on there, which makes it convenient when you got to carry stuff and you don't want things falling off all over. Uh, Twist it 90 degrees, it pops right off. So it's on, it's off. I mean. It's brand new in the box, we never twisted any of these yet, but twist it on, it stays. That's nice. So you got room for your shallow, deep, shallow, deep, shallow and deep of your quarter. I thought those handles too you were in. Yep. The you can hang them in somewhere, somewhere, or you're working somewhere, you can have, set them down and it holds the tray up for you. Right. Very nice. So. What does that usually run for that? These are 77. Okay. 86, 77, yes. Nice. All right. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the weekend. Opening football season. And as everybody knows, I'm a Packer. Packer backer, always have been. I was born that way. Aaron Rodgers showed out last night. Well, you know, I grew up not realizing when I was a little kid that when I was watching Bart Starr, that was a good thing to been doing, but I guess I was and playing and all the folks and everything and we got a lot of relatives and friends in Illinois and Packers and Bears have the greatest longest rivalry of any pro football there is and it's and it's almost split dead to even. Right. We're just now I think edged ahead, but I always think we're about 50, 60 games ahead and all my friends in Illinois, my relatives, they all think they're 50, 60 games ahead, but <laughs> it's pretty much a dead even thing. It's just, it's a good sport, it's good, uh, it's just competition. Yep. But I have a really good friend, we won't mention names, Mr. Zach, in Corinth. From day we, we first met, he always gives me a hard time but he's a good guy. He can dish it out. He can get it. And right. I give it to him too. So we have a lot of fun. We're in the shop and first thing he says, oh, Packers bite. 
that was kind of his words. I'm just trying to keep it low key. And I, <laughs> I says, bite you too. And you know, but well, we get on the truck, we got all the guys on here and he goes, Joe, I'm going to make you a deal. And you know, everybody listens because he comes up with a deal. He's looking to buy something and, right. and he's got something going on. He says, Packers lose. I go, hey, they ain't losing. You know, I cut them off. Have a habit of doing that. But he says, no, no, listen. He says, if the Packers lose, you give me $10. And everybody goes, oh, he's betting, he's betting. He says, no, I'm not betting, I'm making a deal. I says, if Joe, if Joe, if the Packers lose, give me $10. He says, if they win, what I'll do, everybody quiet, everybody looks at him. He says, I'll give you $10. So, I'm, I'm not promoting betting or anything. This was just a deal he made. Right. So, right away, I grabbed my, my wallet, grabbed $10, slapped it on the table here, says, there's my put up, which is here. So everybody's going to see this. So right now there's just one in there. His is going to match that. I don't make him put up because his word's good. But uh, by the end of the year, that thing's going to be kind of full. <laughs> so playoff time, I'll give him a chance to double, triple up to uh, get his back. But he's still going to lose. Well, if the Packers go to the Super Bowl, are you going to wear a Packers jersey on Cornwell Monday? Yes, I have a couple. That's awesome. I, and in wintertime, I wear Packer hats, too. I got some of them, too. <laughs> but, uh, and I've even given some away to... Uh, there, there's a preacher. He's big into football. Right. Every, all until they started kneeling for the national anthem. He went cold turkey right off. It's like, yeah. I ain't watching a single thing until this is over. And he could tell me about every college game, every sports game. See, there I watched college, and that's part of the one of the reasons. There. And he, uh, but I got him a ticket from the stadium that I bought for him as a Christmas present one time, and he, he was tickled. It's like <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I says, yeah. I says I was up there. I decided I'd go there and get one of these for you too. And yeah. He couldn't believe it, but. That was the greatest hat he said he has, so if he said it, I buy it. There you go. Um, so, that's the story. Zach, we're going to fill that up. Thank you. I'll, th I'll say thank you now, and I know you guys watch this. <laughs> so everybody's going to say something to you, but, you know, it's a, all year you got a chance. Not much, but you got a chance. There you go. Um, but I also told him, because he's a big Tennessee backer, I says I back Tennessee as long as they're not paying the Packers. There you go. He says, I, I'm, I'm right there. Yeah. And they played the longest game, I think, in history. They started at noon, and at 7 o'clock, with only a few seconds left, it, they could have almost, well, it had been very hard, but they could have tied the game and gone into overtime seven hours later. That's crazy. But that's uh, lightning storms, and uh, yeah. but that's another story. I hope you all have a great time. Uh, good week ahead. Anything you need, give me a shout, give me a call, and we'll talk later. Thank you. Well, everybody's going to be watching for Mr. Joe's stack of money yeah, to grow up there. There's only one. The Packer money. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe down here below. And if you're a Packers fan, let Mr. Joe know down in the comments. Because maybe... We get to see him wear a Packers jersey. That'd be pretty cool on Cornwell Monday. Anyway, guys, y'all have a great one, and we'll catch you next time.